so welcome back to this channel once again and in this vj tutorial i will uh, discuss uh, using out files in cl programming so let's see the demo so we know that uh, uh, out files are basically uh, derived from some commands uh, uh, the cl command so for example uh, uh, this is the command dsppgm display program information so if i take f4 here so i can see that i can give a name of the program or i can give a star all here for all the programs in a particular library so the output would be star star and star print so here i can see that i can direct the output either to the workstation or to the display device so if i select a star here which is by default star okay then in that case if it is interactive session i will be getting uh, displaying the information of that program here okay or this command here and if it is in batch so for example i am running this dsp pg uh, command in batch then i will be seeing the output in the spool file if i select star okay in case of a star print either in interactive or in batch mode in both the mode in both the mode i will see the output in the spool file so let's uh, see clpgm4 easy class 1 okay so the output i can see the output is the program information that is clpgm4 okay so if i would be selecting star print here so if it was in batch i would be seeing the spool file the same result which is achieved using star print in interactive mode so workshop So I can see this spool file generated for that uh, program uh, actually this is the output of the DSP PGM command for that CL PGM 4 so I can see all the information here but here in this command I cannot see any uh, parameter that is I can give a star out file here so the uh, star out file support is not here in this command so for example i would be taking dsp objd okay objd display object description so in this case i can see uh, in output i have a star star print and a star out file so once i select star out file here so i would then be seeing two more options that is file and the library so for example the file is this one and the library is qtemp so i just want to generate the uh, abc clpf1 star file easy class 1 so I'm going to generate the object description for CLPF1 for, of object type star file present in library easy class 1. So I'm gonna generating the basic detail. So I can generate all these uh, details from here. And now I selected for star out file. So I will be generating the out file ABC in QTEMP library. So once I press enter, I can see the message output file abc created in library qtemp so if i do work obj qtemp slash abc i can see that file is generated so if i do strsql select star from qtemp slash abc i can see the display object description out file is generated in qtemp and i have this information for that object okay so i am clearing the qtemp library so 
now I can see how I can uh, now we can see how we can use the out file in our programs so first thing is we will be declaring a file okay all objpf and this file basically doesn't exist so what, I, what I'm gonna doing is I'm using the sp objd and I'm applying as you can see take f4 here f4 here so I'm generating uh, the object description for all the objects present or reside in easy class 1 library and of object type star all okay and I am generating the out file named all objpf in qtemp okay so I am declaring this file after that I am overriding this uh, all objpf to file qtemp all objpf which is basically the out, out file for this dsp objd okay and then I am reading this file I am reading all the records of this file so I applied this loop do while 1 equals to 1 that is an infinite loop but inside that I am reading that file ok this file which is declared all objpf the out file for the dsp objd and checking for the end of file if end of file reached I will be leaving the loop so this is the condition for leaving this infinite loop if the end of file reached I would be reading the loop or in case if this condition met I would be turning from the program directly so if object type equals to file and object name equals to clpf1 then I would be sending the message that is uh, found so record is found and I would be returning from the program okay so let's see So I would be needing this file to compile this program all objpf file would be required so work member pdm so I am gonna compiling So this program is compiled successfully now just debug this CLP GM6 just to end debug so now I'll be debugging this program Set the breakpoint at line number one, then call this program. Okay, so this will generate the out file in QTemp. Display lib QTemp. So I can see this file is there in QTemp. So if I do select a star from QTemp dot all obj so I can see all the objects information in which are present in a easy class one are now in this out file okay now do while 1 equals to 1 so it will check if this is that now I'll be putting the breakpoint here take after so now this condition reached file object name is clpf1 yeah, true so it will send the program message and it will return from the program so I can see this message found okay so this is the uh, way uh, using which
that is uh, we can use the out files in CL so out file so the commands which have the out file support we can do this for only them so for example just take an example of DSP PGM we cannot uh, generate the out file for the DSP PGM command so for that we have only star print support not the star out file support so the commands which have out star out file support we can basically uh, use them in our CL program and uh, we can do whatever we want, we want to do. So that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice time.